Welcome everybody to ShootSmarter.com. I am Woody Walters and I'm so excited about being here today because I've been on a two-month tour and it's been a lot of fun being on the tour. And I've been, I've been to Imaging USA, Kentucky, Sink, or Indiana and, and getting ready to go to North Carolina on Thursday. But I'm re very excited about being here at Shoot Smarter and, and I want to go over something because I brought this up during Imaging USA and I also brought it up in Kentucky and Indiana. And a lot of people, I, I believe I've covered this before, but I want to go over it again because a lot of people, I start talking about scratch disc and a lot of people didn't have a clue what the heck I was talking about. And it's very, very important and very critical that you understand this part of Photoshop and how to set up your computer so your performance in Photoshop will be a, a lot better, a lot quicker, and a lot, uh, just uh, your resources will be able to use the utilities that are in your computer. And I'm talking about this right here. If you come over here and you go to edit and you come down here to preferences, this is very important. I'm just going to start out with general. And you, this is where you tell Photoshop what your computer has, what, what everything inside of your computer and what it can do and what it can use. And so right now in general, this is just kind of the way it is. You don't really need to change too much in here. You can if you, you know, you can zoom and resize your windows or whatever ever that you have here and then it comes down to interface and interface is cool too because it says show menu colors and you can tell it to show channels or whatever you want to do in your desktop area this is for this area here and then it comes over to file handling and this I would leave alone save as the original folder use raw pre preferences and so on but then you come to right here performance and this part is critical and this is where you tell Photoshop how much RAM you have how much you want to let Photoshop use during the, the while it's working on your images, your history states, your cache levels, your cache tile sizes, and then right here where it says scratch disk. And you can see here on my computer, I have one, two, three, four, five five hard drives and I, let me explain what a scratch disk is to start out with when you're working on an image and I'm just gonna pull this over here for right now when you're working on an image and let's just say that I was working on this lion's head right here what Photoshop does is Photoshop takes all these other images and lays it down on a temporary file on your hard drive and it's called a temp file and so it lays down all that information onto your hard drive so when I'm working up here on, on the head of, of the lion it can be say okay well what do he wants to be working on this lion Let, let's forget everything else that he has going here the eagle the deer the the ram the bear the baboon etc etc and let's work on that one layer up here with the tiger's face or the lion's face here and so it lays down all that information and it's, this is what happens if your file size is 10 megs big photoshop is going to open up a scratch disk five times five times the size of your original image so if you have a 10 meg file photoshop is going to open up a 50 meg file on your image here. Now that that doesn't seem like a lot. 50 megs is not a lot. But if you come down here and you look at right here at this bottom corner here in my document, my document here is 165.8 megs big. Photoshop has opened up a scratch disk of 1.4 gigs onto my hard drive, and it's even opening up more than that. And you can see here if I press F7 that I have an awful amount of layers here, and you can see that right here. And it's not going to let me do it because I'm in here. But if I scroll down here, I got a lot of layers here. And every layer that I open up here, Photoshop's going to open up a bigger scratch disk. And that scratch disk just keeps growing and growing and growing. So Photoshop can handle its resources and say, okay, he wants to work on this lion's head. He wants to work on the eye. You know, let's lay down all that information and let's only keep the memory of his eye up here. And sort of gives all its RAM and all its processing power and able to let me do what I want to do in manipulation to the lion's face here so this is very very important and if you look here you know most people C drive is their main drive where they keep their program files and most of their files and I got C drive turned on as a scratch disk I have a D drive which I have 770 70, three gigabytes to use. I got an E drive where I got 923 gigabytes I can use. I got an H drive which used to be strictly for a scratch disk too but now I'm backing up my C drive and so I got 246 megs available for that and then I got an I drive where I got 403 gigs and nothing else gets saved on the I drive, the E drive or the D drive. This is strictly scratch disk for Photoshop and believe me 
I use it up and that's so important that you understand now those of you that are new or those of you that only have a laptop you only have a C drive there and, and Photoshop is going to eat up in temp files your C drives memory or availability very very rapidly so you got to think about that now I, I have a laptop too and I only have one drive in it but I keep minimum files on there that, that's my laptop that I use for when I'm doing lectures and so the only images that are on there are the images that I'm demoing with or that I want to teach with during that particular class and then you'll see up here that I have available RAM now my wife just had a brand new computer made and we have a lot more RAM in that computer and I'm going to be having one here made in about another month too but right now I have 8 gigabytes of RAM and you can see that I'm allowing Photoshop to use 72% or 75% of that RAM. You got to leave additional RAM so Windows or your operating system can run in the background don't give this a hundred percent I recommend at top 75 percent 70 percent you gotta let the computer have additional memory to run Windows or what have you in the background and chances are you're running more than just Photoshop you probably are running the bridge you're probably running Lightroom or something else into Photoshop so this is very important to understand this is the area that the performance where you have to tell Photoshop what, what it can do and what it should not do my history states I you can go up I believe to a thousand but I only go up to 101 and it's only at 101 because I try to move the slider there but I, I keep it right at, at about 100 states so Photoshop's going to remember the last 100 steps that I use you can see here on the cache level I have it set to 4 I'm going to go ahead and pump that up to 8 because I do have the resources in my computer and here I, I've got 132 and I'm going to go ahead and do 1028 here now this will not take effect once you change all this it does not take effect until you launch Photoshop again but this is extremely important that you understand that this is the only thing I want you to get out of today's lesson is to be able to go in go into your edit preferences go come down to performance and tell Photoshop where it can go the people that build me computers they know that I'm gonna want X amount of drives for scratch disk that they know what I'm asking for from my computer so they know what to give me and again I'm gonna have at least four hard drives allocated strictly for scratch this nothing else I remember my wife and I when we were first dating she saved a word document to to one of my scratch this and I almost never asked her out again that, that's how critical I am with that so it's very very important that you understand that the rest of this you can just custom set up for yourself like your cursors or your transparencies I like the light gray here your units and rulers if you want it to see in inches or pixels or what have you guides and grids I don't really mess with I just let them be the colors plugins I do have plugins and you can see here the only plugins that I use are Topaz and I just started using those they are endorsing me now and I'm endorsing them I love their Topaz remass so you might want to think about that and then it says type and I, I leave type alone but the main area is this performance area and if you will set this area up your Photoshop will run a lot smoother a lot faster and be a lot happier that the relationship with the two of you because it has the ability to use scratch disk so please 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 understand this part so there's your shoot smarter tip of the month take a moment and check out Woody Walters digital photo candy I, I know that you'll be able to use a lot of the resources a lot of the education packages that we have we do a Photoshop tip of the week every week so check that out again that's Woody Walters digital photo and so until next month shoot from the heart and shoot with passion and we will see you here at shoot smarter.com